Many of the symbols that are contained in your Plant 3D project are stored as blocks in the Proj Symbol Style DWG file. This file is critical to your project and it must be controlled and backed up on a regular basis. Let's discuss this a little further. Let's navigate to our exercise files. We're going to go to our open, desktop, exercise files, chapter one, project XML. Now, when we're working with the Plant 3D project, all of our blocks and 3D component information, valve tagging, ortho tagging, all these blocks and symbols that we use are all stored inside the project symbol style DWG. So let's navigate out and take a look at this file, see where this resides in Windows. So you'll find this file under desktop, exercise files, chapter one, and under the chapter one root heading, if you scroll down, you'll find the project symbol style DWG. Now the name of this file is quite unusual, but it's imperative that you don't ever rename this file. This name is hard coded into the, um, the coding of the program. So if you rename it, move it to a new folder or delete it, you're gonna break your project. So it's important that you understand the importance of this file. Now I'm gonna open it up and show you what's inside. So under chapter one, project symbol style drawing, you'll notice the drawing itself is absolutely empty. However, if we look at the blocks, you'll see that all the blocks we're gonna use for annotation, for our P90 symbols are all stored in here. So we wanna make sure we don't ever purge this drawing too. As we go through customization, if we need to add anything to our drawings, such as line types, line weights, we can add that information to the project symbol style DWG. It's available to be used inside the other project blocks. So if you have a really good understanding of how AutoCAD blocks work, you'll have no problems figuring this program out. So let's just cancel out of that. And I'm gonna go back to Windows and notice one thing. If I look through all our exercise files, chapter one has the drawing. Chapter three has the drawing. Every project has the same drawing. And it's, it's really, as, a, as an administrator, the thing you always want to do is to rename it to suit your project because you're always, you know, it's, it's ingrained into us as, as um, AutoCAD users not to have duplicate file names. But just again, I just want to underscore that this file is critical to the project and we have to fully understand its significance and its role in the project. It's also important that all members of the team understand this too and make sure that they don't ever move this file, they never modify it, or they never delete it. Any changes made to this file should be made by nobody other than the project administrators.